Welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Asprey Mere, Congleton. And we're here early because at nine o'clock the park runs starts, so you can't park when the park runs on. And there is a good cafe which is normally open, but as I say, it's, it's not even eight o'clock yet. So we'll just have a good look at the facilities. This is the car park, the Hypericum. You do have to pay, but it's a reasonable price, two hours for 60p. They do have a defib defibrillator, if I can get my teeth in. And they have some signs of what you can see. So it shows you all the uh, trees and types of trees they've got. Birds, robins, swallows, chiff chaffs, nuthatches. Type of flowers. Nipple wart. <laughs> no answer to that one. The butterflies. So if you're into wildlife, plenty of things to see. Cock. Common newts, toads, frogs, voles, rabbits, wood mouse. So it's quite a big car park, but if you're going to come Saturday morning is the park run, so come nine o'clock you can't move. Just off the car park is this little gate, and it's always worth checking it out because, as it's there, it there's a pond. Da, 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 da. And it's a nice little sort of picnic area with a pond. But well, it can be interesting this pond at times. <laughs> Obviously not when I come with a camera, but you get all sorts of things. I can't spot anything this morning. We get newts and all sorts of uh, insects. Can't actually see anything, but you can see ripples on the water. So there's some sort of insects about them. There's a lot of bubbles. So there's something in there, but uh, it's not really clear to see anything this morning. Those of you used to be on the CB will know Congleton as Bear Town. And there's the bear. So basically what we've got is a bloody big lake. <laughs> now there is boating. There's a lot of fishing. Water sports. There's lots of woodlands. And normally on a Saturday and a Sunday, I think it is, there is uh, usually dog training classes. So there's lots to see. You can see them out in woodland. Just have a slow spin round. And I say, like a lot of places, this park runs absolutely bloody crazy. <laughs> Hundreds of people turn up for the park run. Yeah, plenty of good quality paths. I just spoke to a lady, the dog training is still on, it starts at 10 o'clock after the park run, which starts at 9 o'clock. So if they timed them both together, the dogs could chase the runners, couldn't they? <laughs> so there's lots of seats everywhere to uh, sit down. If you disable these paths, they're not super fine, they're sort of rough, but uh, if you're in a wheelchair you could certainly uh, use these paths all right. Lots of rubbish bins everywhere. There is markers, I think around the lake's a mile, I think, or just over a mile. 
again we've got more sort of hidden little spots with seats if you wanted to have a picnic we've got some keen runners because they're starting now and it doesn't start till nine o'clock so anybody want any apples plenty of apples about so on this side there's plenty of these big fields and this is say probably 10 o'clock the uh, dog trainers will be here but if you want to throw a ball for your dog and things there's plenty of open spaces and there's little seats you can hide in and probably another two or three weeks it'll be absolutely amazing with the uh, the winter colour of the trees I mean, the biggest walk is round the actual lake, which is down there. But what we will do, we will go and have a look at the woodland walks. Because there's quite a few off here. And it cuts into other footpaths. And to do it, you have to get up there. <laughs> and it's a fair old climb, this bit. Another field again, you often get lack of dog walkers. I'm just trying to be silent, see if you can hear the birds. So it's quite a steep climb up this little bit of a hill. And once you've got to the top of all the steps, and this is quite a, a walk that is. You can carry on into the village or you can go into the woodland and what have you got? Hundreds of damn steps. <laughs> so we'll climb up here so it's the woodland walk. And when you get to the top of the steps there is a field. I want to let your dog off somewhere else. There's walks off everywhere. Well, there is a signpost, Wags Road, Asbury Street, Fall Hollow Visitor Centre and Bankey Field. So we'll try one of these and see where we end up. So this path joins one of the other paths. <laughs> and we're still on the woodland walk. And it's a woodland, would you believe? It's nice seats again to have a, a sit down. Hear the birds and I just stop talking so you can hear the birds and they stop at the same time again it's another if it's a hot summer's day nice and cool in these woods Again, you could probably do this with a wheelchair, but getting up them big steps, you definitely couldn't. Well, you could come at it from the other way, one of the other fields. As with all these places, you've got the same problem. There's a path there and there's a path there, and there's no signs. I mean, it doesn't cost a fortune, just scribble on a piece of paper or something, you know, what goes that way and what goes that way. So you will go down this little path and see where this leads us because there is it sort of tends to be a bit of a wetland up here so very often lake ish type of thing 
just talking to all the dog walkers, everybody's getting round quick before the uh, the runners come because they're all playing hell about these runners that they get very aggressive with dog walkers, get your dog out the road. And <clears throat> so, it did suggest a solution if you got the dogs to chase the runners. We'd exercise the dogs and improve the runners' performance. They'd run a lot muddy quicker with the dog chasing. <laughs> the dog owners seem in favour of that, but probably not the runners. So we come to what do we come to? A lot of weeds. And one of these uh, little ponds, lakes, whatever, are still here, and whether you can walk down here. Well, it is a bit of a jungle. <laughs> Plenty of weeds and very little path. You can just sort of make out a rough sort of path. All the rest is is weeds. Obviously it doesn't get a lot of uh, visitors this bit. And as I go deeper it gets worse. The problem with all these things is the brambles, isn't it? You end up with brambles everywhere. I think we're past the or well, getting past the brambles. Plenty of berries, you want any berries? Now it does open out a bit here. I would say there used to be like a pond or a lake here. <laughs> And there's little paths through the woodland there. <coughs> and if you want drugs, you don't need to buy any, just stand there and breathe in. There's obviously uh, a place where people come to enjoy the uh, marijuana. Now we could have carried on instead of going on that lower one, and the path would then fetch you to here, so a nice seat. Well, two seats actually. And a great view across the uh, the mere. They do love the steps, don't they? <laughs> Unfortunately, the trees spoil most of the view, but you can get an idea of uh, how far you can see. So we've come down the steps and now we're walking by the lake. And this is one of the fishing spots. Now they have ruined this because years ago you could come and let your dog in the water. But now, no public access, no sunbathing, no swimming. And in Polish as well. You can probably see how good the water is. Nice and clear. All these spots you could go down because if you're a photographer and you want to photograph the wildlife on the lake, I'll let your dog in. But the fishermen have taken it over and get quite stroppy now if anybody treads on their bit of land. So it's totally ruined it. Again, there's more woodland walks. You can see there a little walk off into the woodland. So I think. Certainly on a Saturday morning, the dog owners tend to be around the woods where they don't uh, have to put up with the, the runners. More seats. I 
I've got a better view of the lake here because it's a bit more open. There's usually plenty of wildlife. We've got a coot there somewhere. Trying to see if there's quite a few ducks and trying to see what they are, but uh, they are a bit far out. It's a lovely, uh, very deep lake. They do have paddle boarded and one thing and another. I'll say if I get back down there again, you can see how crystal clear it is. They usually have grebe, tufted ducks, and things like that. I we'll just pop off into the woodlands, another little path into the woodlands, and we'll have another look at uh, the woodland. So we're down low because you have got the path right at the top there. I can't believe how these birds shut up when you put the camera on. Not a reasonable sort of path, but a bit dodgy for anybody in a wheelchair. So the actual path by the lake's only just there, so we're only just off the main path. That's something dogs would uh, <clears throat> appreciate, plenty to sniff at here. And we're starting to see the first of the uh, autumn colour coming there. Again there's another path up there. Plenty of places to explore if you're coming with your dogs rather than just walk around the lake. As we come round the corner, uh, this, this is now the Asbury Water Sports Centre where they have all sorts of uh, obviously sailing boats, canoes, and various other things. <clears throat> Again, they've blocked this bloody bit off, which years ago we used to be able to get to. And this is a mad half hour for for wildlife. <coughs> Trying to see what we've got. <coughs> we've got some coots all heading this way. Think we've got food. Plenty of ducks. <laughs> Look at them all coming because they've stood still. Gulls. Get that many, it's hard to work out which is what we have got. Baby more in there. A couple of swans, one hiding. Just seeing there, and one out in the middle of the lake. There's not really any need to block this bloody bit off, is there? You're just getting a bit OTT. And they've got the water sports main office, would we call it. And if you come to see wildlife, this is the bit you want to do. I can't see anything fantastically interesting. Again, it's a bit strange to get so many coots because was it Westport Lake we've had and there's one or two places where you get a lot but they do tend to be sort of just an odd one or two but there's the hundreds of the damn things here. 
I'll just do a spin round the lake so you can see the uh, the lake. I don't know where they can make it out. There's a lot of wildlife in the middle there. We're a bit far out. So it gives you a good idea of the uh, size of the lake. And more woodland off to the left. And the park run doesn't start till now, but does seem to be hundreds of them already starting in advance. Whether they're cheating. Lots of other fishermen, it's only it's not even nine o'clock yet. And they're all here fishing. A lot of the fishing spots, this one you can sort of step over and be naughty if you wanted, but a lot of them they put fences up and bloody padlock gates. Really OTT. We're nearly back at the uh, visitor centre. Good place for your dog throwing balls up there. You can see there are <clears throat> plenty of ferns about, plenty of uh, birds, plenty of these fishing spots. Well, it's nearly nine o'clock, so the uh, official park run should be starting any time now. There's a lot of walkers. <laughs> I do reckon about 200 to 300 runners. It's near and down there, really. Hundreds of them. None of them are running. <laughs> Better view of the old bear. Still they keep coming. Well there's this one little area where you can let your dog in. And you can see how clear the water is. And just have a look around the uh, the lake from the a low view. Just before he put my camera on, there were dragonflies here. Once again, <laughs> it's like fishing, isn't it? It's the one that got away. Well, you could get anywhere with a dog before. And if we got a, I can find him. It looks like a. Can't get a focus on it. There's something that looked like it, where it was going up like a grebe or something, but I don't think it was. Well, it's ideal for the dogs on a hot, hot day. This is nice reflections. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but little flies everywhere. <laughs> About ten of them. Just about sort of make them out. And we stood still so we're joined by a load of ducks. 
And we do actually have people actually running now. Because most of them were walking before. I don't know where these are finishing and starting, but you can see how many people are. Madness. One with a buggy. That's it. <clears throat> A lot of them are pushing wheelchairs <laughs> as well. Well the first runners are now returning. It's about a mile around the lake and they do three laps so there's quite a lot to now coming in. I'm tired just watching them. Well, they're not jogging some of them, some of them are fairly uh, Really running at uh, quite a speed, a lot of them. I'm tired just walking around the lake. <laughs> just another overall view where I can sort of lock off a bit and not waggle too much. So they're still coming in from the uh, the run. I'm tied out and I've only watched them. <laughs> You've got a big dog there, that'll hurry him all up. You can see the lake and all the uh, quite a good view from a little bit higher up. You see the whole area is covered in woodland and the church you can see right over there. You can see the spire. And this tends to hold everything up because the dog classes can't start till 10 o'clock till these lot have gotten. Probably the boat in can't go until these lot have finished. So they do sort of occupy the whole area for it's been about three quarters now, nine o'clock they're supposed to start and it's I've got somebody shouting at them. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste of time. They've only got three foot to so go and he's shouting, come on, <laughs> put your foot down. Well, the speed of some of them running. He's a noisy sod, isn't he? There's still plenty of finishing. They have had paces apparently today, so if you wanted to do the whole run in 20 minutes, you've got a pacer, it'll keep that pace up, so you do it in 20 minutes, so if you want to do it in 
half an hour. So they, a lot of them are running with a pacer with them to keep them on, on track, which is a bit of a novel idea. Didn't half giving it some bloody mouth. A lot of people just want to keep fit, they don't want to run at a certain speed and have somebody shouting <laughs> obscenities out. <laughs> 